Okay, figure shows a circuit consisting of a switch S, resistor, 6 volt battery, and a fully charged capacitor. Okay, fully charged capacitor. If switch S is opened, uh, calculate the remaining charge in the capacitor after 5 seconds. Okay, now uh, we need to see this is about charging and discharging capacitor. So, for this case, is this a uh, uh, when the switch is opened, is it charging or discharging? Is the capacitor charging or discharging? Uh, we have to know, we have to check that, yeah? So, you see, initially, okay, um, okay, so initially, okay, initially, the capacitor is already fully charged. Uh, why fully charged? Because it's charged by the battery. Uh, initially, it's already fully charged by battery. Okay, maybe I should write it down. Uh, right. The switch is over here. Okay, this is a 6 volt battery. This is 5 microfarad capacitor. And this is a re resistor with 2 mega ohm. Okay, 2 mega ohm. Uh. So, initially, when the switch is closed, of course, it's charging charging because the battery charge up the capacitor to maximum uh, so initially initially is already fully charged uh, initially is already fully charged so uh, once the switch is open when the switch is open that means uh, initially the switch here you can see switch here is closed when the switch here is closed the battery charge the capacitor to maximum uh, but when you open the switch when you open the switch, okay, uh, then the battery is disconnected. Ah, when uh, battery is, uh, when the switch is opened, okay, then the battery is disconnected. Ah, then discharging happens. Ah, initially, you see, initially it's fully, fully charged by batteries. This is positive, this is negative. So it's charged the uh, capacitor here to positive, negative also. Uh, charge maximum. Once the switch is open, battery disconnected. So this capacitor uh, will start to discharge. Will start to discharge. So the current will start flowing. Uh, the current will start flowing uh, through the resistor. Ah, then the current will start to flow through the resistor. So this is discharging process. So he say when the switch is open, yeah, when the switch S is open, battery is di battery is disconnected. So that means what's the remaining charge after the uh, in the capacitor after five second? Uh, this five second is the time taken. Yeah, so. Uh, once the switch is open, uh, he, he asks for the remaining charge. That means uh, the the charge is, the capacitor is discharging. Uh, so this is about discharging process, not charging process. Ah, very important. Yeah, this is about discharging process. The uh, because battery already disconnected, so the capacitor start to discharge. Uh, yes, discharge the current start to flow in the, through the resistor, so the charge in the capacitor will decrease. Uh, so we need to look at discharging process. Yeah, we need to look at discharging process instead of charging. Because why? Because uh, between charging and discharging, they have different formula for their charge, voltage, and current. You see that for charging, the charge and voltage increase, current decrease. For discharging, all charge, voltage, current all decrease. Uh, okay, so uh, discharging process, uh, we know that the charge decrease. Lah. Okay, the charge decrease. Uh, okay, so what's the formula for charge decrease? Uh, we, we, I, you still remember that uh, when I told, I told you about when the the for, when the the any value increase yeah increase increase we use one one minus e uh, one minus e but when something decrease decrease we use e we use epsilon okay 
So that's the formula to remember. When increase, we use what? We use 1 minus E. Uh, when decrease, we use E. Uh, that's how I remember the formula. Okay? When increase, use 1 minus E. When decrease, use E. So this one is uh, charge decrease. So we use E. Uh, so we use E. Understand? Uh, the rest is the same. Negative T over RC. Ah, okay. Uh, that's, that's all. So, now, um, okay. Do I have the, ma the maximum charge? Maximum initial charge? The fully charged one? Here, uh, fu here it says fully charged. That means Q0 lah. Uh, can we find the Q0? Yes, we can find. Because it gives us the the maximum voltage uh, this 6 volt battery becomes uh, you know when fully charged when fully charged the the voltage across the capacitor is also the 6 volt uh, same to the voltage of the battery understand because uh, battery and capacitor they are in parallel yeah connected in parallel so they must have the same voltage in the 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 capacitor must charge to the same voltage as battery uh, okay so v naught is 6 volt also uh, so uh, and then uh, we have the capacitor so so you see capacitance so we can find q naught understand we can find q naught uh, we can find q naught so we can find q naught first q naught is equal to c v naught ah so c is uh, 5 microfarad so we need to change that to SI unit 5 micro micro is negative 6 farad and then volt is uh, you know voltage is 6 volt okay so what is the Q0 uh, what is the Q0 so let's find out yeah uh, okay, put it over here okay so let's calculate this one yeah Q0 5 exponent negative 6 uh, multiply by 6 uh, so I got uh, is a uh, 3 exponent 3 exponent negative 5 3 exponent negative 5 column uh, that's the maximum charge so 3 exponent negative 5 column negative 5 negative 5 uh, negative 5 Okay, and then uh, exponent negative t. So this is the time taken after five seconds. What happened to the charge? Yeah. So this is a five divided by resistance. Uh, do we have the resistance? Yes. Uh, this uh, resistance already given two mega ohm. Uh, this is the resistance. Uh, this is the capacitance. You see that? Uh, this five microfarad is the capacitance. This uh, 2 mega ohm is the resistance. So I have the RC. I have the RC. So R is uh, 2 mega. 2 mega, you need to change to SI unit. Mega is exponent 6. Uh, exponent 6. And then resistance. How about resist? Uh, okay, that's the resistance. Lah. 2 mega ohm. Mega is exponent 6. And then capacitance is uh, 5 microfarad. Micro is exponent negative 6. Ah, okay. So that's the capacitance. Ah, so I can find. Ah, I can find. So let's calculate. Yeah. Okay, I calculate this part first, the index number. Okay. 2 exponent 6. Uh, multiply uh, 5 exponent negative 6. So I got this. Uh, and then 5 divide by the answer. Okay. And then I need to calculate uh, this exponent uh, to the um, you know to the power of negative uh, answer okay so multiply by 3 exponent negative 5 okay so the answer is uh, 1.82 uh, 1. 1.82 exponent uh, negative 5 negative 5 Column, ah, that's the charge. Is that correct? I have the answer. Yes, I got it. 1.82 exponent negative 5. Uh, 1.8. Uh, 
Uh, 1.8 exponent negative ne negative 5 column. That's correct. That's the answer. That's the answer. Okay. Uh, answer is B. Okay. So that's all. I hope you understand. Bye.